back to the channel. As you all know, we uh, are still in lockdown. We can't go wild camping or hiking. So what I'm going to do today is um, install a Chinese diesel heater into our camper van to win when. Never done one before, so <laughs> this could all go horribly wrong. But um, if you're interested, stick around and see how we get on. So this is roughly where the, the heater is going to go. Hopefully by there somewhere facing this way. Uh, there used to be a fridge there, but I took that out last week. So this looks um, a pretty decent place for the heater to go, I'd say. So what I'll do now, I'll go in the house, do the unboxing, and I'll show you all the bits and pieces. Right guys, this is a heater. It was £103 from Amazon. So let's see what's in the box. That's the 10 litre fuel tank. This is the diesel heater itself. That's the diesel heater. And this is the box of components that come with it. Right, so I'll just briefly show you what's in the box. That's the instructions, obviously. That's the pipe that um, circulates the uh, hot air around the vehicle. That's the air intake pipe. That's the exhaust pipe that goes under the bottom of the van. And that's the mounting plate. That's probably the first thing we're going to need. And then you've got all the electrics, the fuel pipe, and you've got the digital display. And they give you a spare one as well. They give you, they give you a manual one as well. And you can use whichever one you like. That goes on the end of the um, exhaust pipe under the van. That's the fuel pump. And then you've got all the wires and all the electrics. Right then guys, there's a the heater. There's the, the plate which we're going to fix to the van floor and then I've got to drill two holes for them for the exhaust and the, in, the um, intake pipe but what I'm going to do first I'm going to that's roughly where we're going to put it I'll mark around this and I'll cut this section of plywood out What I've decided to use to cut the um, section of the floor out, I've got this 35 mil hole cutter. Doesn't have to be pretty as long as long as it's gone.
Right then guys, as you can see, I've cut out the plywood on the van floor. The base plate's gonna go there. So what I'm gonna do is get a pencil, mark out for the holes. It'll be them two, the four outside ones, and another hole for the fuel line. So I'll um I'll drill them and I'll bring you back. Right guys, there's the two holes. What I'm gonna do now, I got some hammerite metal paint. Just gonna paint um, around the holes to stop it rusting. Right, I finished painting that now. I'll let that dry. In the meantime, I'm gonna get the fuel tank. And what you gotta do is, depending where you want the fuel pipe to come from, You've got to drill an 8mm hole, either in the bottom or on the, on the side of the fuel tank. And we've got to thread that in through the hole. Right guys, back in the house now. We've got to put all, all this together. The plate goes on the bottom. Just got to put the nuts on there, bolt them on. Then we got to attach the pipes. And the fuel line. And then go back to the van and drop it all down the hole. Sounds simple, don't it? Huh. Right then guys, the exhaust pipe is Attached with a Jubilee clip, as is the air intake. And if I spin that around, you can see the fuel pump is attached as well. As you can see, we've had a change of plan. I've had to um, raise it up off the floor a bit because when I drop the two pipes down there, there's not going to be enough room for both of them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop the exhaust underneath, underneath the van and the air intake. I'm going to have to take it straight to the vent because under the van there's just not enough room for both pipes. So that's the plan anyway. Let's see how that works out. <laughs> Who's that in there? Hello. <laughs> Right then guys, it's all set now. What I'm gonna do, I've got a tube of fire mate silicone. So I'm gonna seal down both sides of the timber, bed the heater down and fix it in place. Welcome back guys. As you can see, the heater is all fixed down now on a bed of fire resistant silicone. I tell you what, we haven't done much. <laughs> We've been all day doing it, me and Karen. But uh, I reckon it'll be finished tomorrow, hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Morning guys, welcome back to day two of the diesel heater installation. First thing we're going to do is sort out the fuel tank. Karen's sorting that up now. And the fuel tank's going to go there with the fuel line underneath. And it's going to connect to this eventually. So we're going to do this first and try and sort out all the electrics. Right, that's the, that's the filter. 
all set up on the fuel tank. What I've got to do now is drill through those three holes with a 7mm bit and they're the holes that will bolt that onto the side panel. Right guys, another job I've got to do is I've got to put this muffler on the end of the exhaust pipe and somehow bolt the uh, exhaust pipe to the underside of the van. So let's give that a crack. Don't know if you can see this, but there's the uh, there's the exhaust pipe there. So I've got to put the muffler on the end and try and fix it to the van. Right, a bit of a bit of a progress report now. I've bolted the fuel tank to the side panel, but what I've done, I've tilted it forward a bit, so it's slightly out of level, so um, no f sediment forms in the bottom of the tank and goes into the filter. So if any sediment forms, it'll be in this corner. And then he won't go through the filter then. Also, Karen's in the process of connecting all the cables. And what we've done, I've drilled 35 mil hole through both sides of the panel to put the wires through. That'll get all tidied up with cable ties and what have you, and then the wires are going from there to there, I've drilled a hole and Cannon's going to bring the cables up there, through there, and then And that'll be behind that panel. And that's where we're going to put the control panel. There's not a lot of room in this van, but that seemed about the best place we have available. Right then, guys, what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little panel in the bottom and I'm going to drill that size hole in there so it lines up with the diesel heater behind so then that will go on onto there and then the pipe will come through the hole in the panel and then that screws onto the panel in the front and then you can turn that whatever way you want we'll probably have you that way so it directs the heat that way to the back of the van Right, as you can see, the panel is all screwed in. Got the pipe from the heater going through the panel and to the pipe cover. So that's done. Next thing I'm going to do is take that vent off and block it off with some plywood. 
because we don't need too much air coming in as long as it all works down the bottom that's the main thing and Karen's gonna connect the wires to the batteries so I'm gonna take this grill off now put some ply on the inside of it just to block the hole up and then screw it back in place guys yes I think it's working it's on anyway yeah, well it's on so we'll um see how it works <laughs> <laughs> and press the right buttons <laughs> bring you back in a minute right then guys something's happening it's actually getting warm as well <laughs> which is the whole idea of it yeah the pump's working it's noisy but I think I can live with that welcome back it's all up and running now and that is boiling So yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video and if you want any tips about tying these heaters, don't ask me. <laughs> Not me. Because <laughs> <laughs> how this works is just a mystery. Well, I'll tell you all that is absolutely roasting. So, what I'm going to do in the future now, next few weeks, I'll put a door on there and maybe put a couple of panels in there to block all that off. So yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. Bye.